hey guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel uh, today um, i'm going to show you uh, how you can create an mpesa uh, uh, api account uh, so that you can use mpesa uh, account uh, or mpesa api uh, and integrate it uh, with your solution so so the first step is uh, to access uh, the mpesa api website register for an account uh, so that we can create an app so let's do that so let's visit developer.safaricom.co.ke so type this on your favorite web browser okay and of course uh, you can always uh, search this on google so once you access uh, the website, what you see is the home page where, where you have uh, tutorials or docs on different elements of this particular API. So what I want us to do is to create an account. So click on the login button to register for a new account. Put your first name, your last name. Then account type, select company, uh, select individual, because uh, you just want a personal account. Uh, specify a username, an email address. Uh, make sure that you have access to this particular email address, because it will be required for verification. Then your country, and then your mobile number. Okay, and then agree to the terms and conditions uh, of using this uh, particular uh, API. And then you need to verify this particular image okay so when you do that uh, you will click on create a new account uh, where Safaricom sends you an automated uh, response uh, for account verification so go to your email the one that you put uh, where uh, registering here then uh, verify your account okay so once you verify your account you'll be able to uh, create a password uh, for your account uh, that you can use uh, to log in. Then come back to this website or click a link uh, from the email that is sent uh, so that you can sign in. So you provide the username and the password that you specify uh, while verifying your account. So then click on login pay, login button. Okay. So when you log in, uh, automatically the system uh, takes you to a dashboard and the dashboard uh, is where uh, you can access a list of all applications that you have created okay so you can see I have a list of four applications uh, that I've created here so I can add a new application so how do you add a new application uh, you click on the add new app button so we are creating a flask so you just type a flask so application name, you can type any name. So for me, I'm going to type a flask, uh, M-Pesa app tutorial. Tutorial one, okay. Then we want to use Lipa and M-Pesa sandbox API, okay. So this is the product that you want to use or the endpoint that, uh, that we want to use uh, from M-Pesa. So once you do that, you click on create app okay so there we are so you have our app uh, that is automatically created and then it's automatically uh, approved okay the status of the app so this uh, app uh, there's some key information uh, that you, i want you uh, to make observation on so we have the keys uh, which is uh, the information that is used to authenticate okay so these are keys uh, for uh, development uh, for this particular uh, app so each app has its own uh, automatically generated key so we have the consumer key and then a secret so what you do is that uh, you use the key and the secret to generate or to authenticate yourself uh, of on uh, while accessing this API 
So the key never expires, and of course you see the date it was issued. Okay, so these two are the most crucial uh, part uh, while creating an app uh, that you want to use. Okay, so you have to make sure that this information is secret. Uh, of course, it's not supposed to be shared with unauthorized unauthorized users. Uh, but for this case, we're just doing a demo, so there's no problem. Uh, uh, you accessing this so but make sure that uh, you create yours and you can see this information okay then you have the products that you want to use so this is the product with an mpesa sandbox with the product that you want to use you can see the details of the app that you've just created the name the api product then the reports all analytics so we have none because it's a new app we can edit our app change information app name uh, product that he wants to use and then we can of course delete our app okay so in the process of uh, uh, creating this uh, what you will need to identify is uh, the secret and and the key because this information uh, is what you're going to use uh, for authentication okay so as you can see, it's a simple uh, process. And of course, if you want to read more on this or learn more about uh, what all these means, uh, you can access the docs or you can go to FAQs uh, where you can see uh, different uh, questions that have been asked by different users or developers on this particular API. And it can help you uh, to learn more details about your app or how to use the app that you have created so in the my next tutorial that you're going to have is uh, we're going to look at how we can use the consumer key and the secret to authenticate ourselves uh so we uh, on 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 uh, safaricom api so we're going to use uh python uh, of course uh, python flask so we're going to use a python flask app so that app will authenticate uh, to Safaricom uh, to get a token uh, that you can use to consume different uh, endpoints on Lipa and Mpesa uh, API. Okay. So to access each and every uh, function or endpoint that is defined on Lipa and Mpesa API, you need to have a token. So the token is generated from the key and the secret uh, that you get here. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use this uh, using Python, be able to generate uh, that info. Okay, you guys. So don't forget to hit uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos on this. Thank you guys and uh, keep safe. So I'm going to log out. So see you next time, guys. Thank you.